Thank you, Kim. The Pinal County Board of Supervisors is now declaring a state of emergency down in Eloy and Arizona City. Still about 7,000 APS customers there without power, struggling right now without the air conditioning. David Caltabiano shows us the conditions inside their homes and also talks about some of the resources for those families. This house, like thousands of others in Eloy and Arizona City, are empty. Families would rather be outside in the heat than be in here. And I could understand why. It is definitely toasty in here with no power and no air conditioning. A pool for a toddler and spraying a baby with water. This is how Katrina Antoine is trying to keep her kids cool in sweltering triple digit weather with no AC. Opting for the front yard instead of the living room after storms snapped APS lines like toothpicks, the power went out on Sunday night. Start sweating right when you walk in. Other people opted for the local middle school for shelter with hotels in nearby Casa Grande reportedly all booked up. Residents are choosing the gym for sleep instead of their hot homes. The fire department is providing cold water and dry ice for frozen food to not go bad. Well, I would probably lose all my perishables, my meats. You know, right now in this time of uh, turmoil, there's just kind of a tough to buy food. This woman, grateful for the resources too, admits the past 24 hours have been tough, living in her car with her dog. She estimates the inside of her home is between 90 and 100 degrees. It's hot. It's hot. We'd get in the car all day yesterday and last night, you know, to cool off. So it's very hot. Meanwhile, APS crews are hard at work. Richard Rosales, a spokesperson for the utility company, says they haven't seen this type of damage to power lines in decades. They've pulled from resources all over the state to get the power on faster than what it was initially predicted Wednesday morning. If we wouldn't have had all these resources throughout the state, this could have went on for days, maybe weeks, because, you know, the local crews would have had to do all the work. And the damage was extensive. A spokesperson for APS told me the power is estimated to be back on in this area at 8 o'clock tonight. Until then, I'm David Coltipiano reporting for Arizona's Family.